Corsair Vengeance RGB DDR4 memory modules feature customizable multicolor lighting and are designed for overclocking with XMP 2.0 support. Give your build a unique look with vibrant RGB LED memory by Corsair. Click the link in the description for more information. Excellent! So there's always the things that you want to do and the things that you have to do. I think a big part of being an adult is figuring out when to do uh, item A and when to do item B. Today's video is definitely going to be a lot more about item B, the things I have to do. So the things I want to do include uh, taking like new hardware that's arrived, like this new X299 motherboard from MSI, and just getting it up and running and running some tests on it and whatever, but it's difficult to do when like the, my dining room table, which is supposed to be my overflow zone, looks kind of like this. Uh, these are all cables that are from travel and uh, as well as a couple of the test systems that I had set up out here and um, I need to clean this up for one thing uh, in order to make space to do anything else. Breaking down this massive pile of empty boxes would also be pretty helpful I imagine. And of course out here in the garage you can see uh, you know part of the reason why my overflow area that out there is overflowing. There's no space for anything. Uh, if I clear off one space then it clutters up the other space. Point being, um, although I am fortunate enough to be able to do YouTube videos full time here at home and work from home and everything, I typically like to have sort of an ebb and flow as far as the hardware that comes in and goes out. There should be hardware not just coming in to my work area here, but also going out. And in the past few months, there's been so much stuff coming in that by the time I finish one project, I have to move on to the next, and the rest of the stuff just piles up. So for today, rather than focusing on a single little project, like reconfiguring my monitors here for the new streaming capture system, which still aren't quite exactly how I'd like them to be, or clearing out my old capture system, removing the hardware from that, and decommissioning some of that, I have new plans for that case coming up as well. Clearing out, out any of this stuff here, uh, I have a laptop that we took to Computex that I still need to pack back up to return to EVGA, and uh, generally speaking, wherever there's motherboards, loose hardware lying around, I want to find the boxes for it, put the motherboards in the boxes, just get everything back to where it should be, so that if I say, oh, I need to do this right now, I can actually just do that, whatever that happens to be, and start working on it. Anyway, I've done enough intro for this video. I'm gonna set up some time-lapse cameras. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm not gonna call this a garage work log, but this is also intended to get me more to the point where I can work on another garage work log because that's another thing that I've been wanting to do for a while. I really like my garage work logs. I like working out here to make things more efficient and functional, um, and I especially wanna clean up a lot of the cable management stuff that's going on up here and reroute some of that, make it look a little bit more tied in and professional. So. I'll be getting to that stuff very soon. There's a lot of time this summer, hopefully, to handle that kind of thing. But for now, I'm going to just work. I'm going to work really hard, and I'll come back at the end, and I'll give you guys a quick rundown of what I was able to accomplish. Here goes.
And I think I am all done for today. I say for today, but actually what you've been watching over the past, I don't know how many minutes, has been the end of the day on Friday, or the second half of the day on Friday, and the first half of the day on Saturday. I've gotten many, many things accomplished, not least of which being a sort of reconfiguration of the streaming and capture system over here in the corner. Uh, actually installed the three terabyte drives that I got for it, so now I have some additional backup storage on there. And I reconfigured these monitors so that they're laid out a little bit better um, using my Ergotech Freedom Arm back there. I switched the 4K monitor over to that. I want to get a 2560 by 1440 monitors to sit back here as well, maybe a FreeSync one, because I don't have anything like that, but we'll worry about that in the future. For now, it's a lot cleaner and everything's laid out a little bit better. I uh, didn't do much with my main gear system over here in the corner. I'm considering a giveaway with this, but we'll, let's worry about that later. Over here is my uh, tiny item collection, which has basically been all of the SSDs, uh, memory, and CPUs that I've been pulling out of the various systems and test, bed that's, test beds that I've had set up that I tore down uh, in order to reconfigure some of those. Those were back here. They're not there anymore. Excellent. Didn't get to this test bed yet though. This is an old X299 test bed. Need to set this up again. Maybe some X299 configuration on it, maybe an X399 configuration on it. I'm not really sure, it'll depend when I get around to that. Uh, test beds in general are, have been repositioned back down here. And then as far as this far end of the garage, I didn't get too much done over there. Uh, this table is still piled with stuff. Uh, again, that's gonna be another project to get to at some point in time. But for now though, the main goal was to get uh, that table cleaned off, this table cleaned off, of course the uh, dining room area out there cleaned off as well. And then you probably also noticed towards the end here that I actually built a new computer. Um, just one of those things that kind of happens randomly with me. But I have decided to embark upon a multi-stage project yet again, which I think you guys might be kind of excited about. I'm not going to tell you too much right now, but let's just say it involves Arctic Panther. That's that's all that's all I'm going to tell you for now. Um, but what I do need is something to use in place of Arctic Panther, since that's been my main editing sta station back in the the, the uh, computer room for a while. So this is my reimagination of the uh, Silent Base 600, the system that I previously was my capture system back over there. The case is super super quiet. The fans it comes with are super quiet as well. So I thought. I need something quiet to use for video editing and interim, so might as well jump up to X299. So basically in here, apart from the Be Quiet case, uh, I'm also still using the Be Quiet Straight Power 10 700 watt power supply. Uh, solid side panel windows on here, so I'm not concerned at all about how things look inside, uh, but I do have the Cooler Master um, Master Air Pro 4. Uh, right there. I've got 32 gigs of Corsair memory that's installed. Motherboard is the Asus X299 Prime Deluxe and then the graphics card is the Asus GTX 1080 Ti Strix. Uh, I also installed uh, a new SSD in there which is a Samsung 960 Evo uh, which I'm going to get the operating system installed on and then I do have some more parts to add to this again once I get on to that further configuration time. And so guys, I am hot and sweaty and I still have yard work to do. So I'm going to call it quits for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I know it's been, again, sort of a random in-between cleanup type video, but hey, I built some systems, I took apart some systems, I unboxed some things, I reboxed some things. It was good times. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys in the next one.